I'd like to. I'd like to. I'd like to paraphrase first as nicely as I can. I've never seen so many experts talk on a certain committee that don't know what they're talking about. I would recommend highly that people research Article 30 on the ADA. Mm -hmm. I did my research on that, and there are many towns that the court has come and said, you will do every sidewalk in town, and you will take a billion dollar in Los Angeles, bond out, and you will do it. It's not when you redo something. It's that everything has to be accessible. So when you're talking about Article 30, and I hear clowns expounding on what they don't know what they're talking about, I think it's foolishness, and I think that, that we voted a recommend it, 3-1-1. But I recommend anybody that voted against it, you, you should do your homework, and you should see that there have been small towns and there have been large cities that there's been court action against, and they've been forced to do it. That's all I want to say. I just I heard something about, I'm not exactly sure where, it was on the news this week about um, somewhere they're doing some major work be, I think it's because of those fires it was, and th that they're insisting they do it that way. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Mary Louise? Yeah, I opened a preliminary discussion with the planning board at our last meeting. Mark was present on r at least having the planning board make a start and require developers who are developing a uh, neighborhood. Towns are responsible. To put the, to put the um, sidewalks in the plan. Towns are responsible. Do your homework. What? My question is, what's $100,000 going to do? Again, plan. We need a plan for it. OK, right. just adding money that is not going to, I mean, I'm sorry, yeah. but the budget, I'm, my concern with it is the $100,000 isn't going to get us anywhere. Right. It's not going to enough to be one. So if anyone comes in and tells us that we got to do all our mm -hmm. sidewalks, yeah, it's $100,000 being there is not going to do anything yeah. for us. If you have a start, then, you, then at least somebody's probably not going to come in to you. They're going to, it's up to you guys. I mean, I don't care. I think the developers should be forced to put. Chris, you got any well, on, the, on the, a list of what you would? We do have a sidewalk list. We do. Um, we have it, and, and it was along with that, a rating system. Uh, the plan was to, as, for instance, this summer we're hoping to get Lafayette Road resurfaced, mm -hmm. the drainage done, the sidewalks would be done at the same time. The hope was that as we approach, let's say, the Winnicott Road projects and High Street Road projects, that this asphalt money resurfacing money would come out of the asphalt account that a portion of the sidewalk money that work would come out of the uh, sidewalk capital reserve account sewer from sewer drainage from drainage mm -hmm. and that putting those resources together would allow for a one section to be done completely at a time mm -hmm. um, so just like um, with Lafayette Road like for instance let's say Lock Road Lock roads in for a sewer replacement first. After that happens, then it would be the total resurfacing would get done. And if there was, there's some, but not much, it was probably a bad choice to use lock road, but those sidewalks would get done. So my concern was in putting this together that um, sidewalks would can and should get done with in the scope frame of a larger project mm -hmm. because um, one no contractor just wants to come in and just do 50,000 or even $25,000 worth of sidewalk project we're not finding any con contractors but like for instance when we just did Ann's Lane we got some sidewalk work done in concert with that other project right. so it was just in an effort to come up with a capital reserve fund to know that we were doing sidewalks and, and that we would follow the plan that's light, laid out, the street sequence that's laid out within the CIP. That was it. Okay. As Public Works Director, do you have a problem with new neighborhoods being required by the Planning Board to have the developers put the sidewalks in? Why should you have to go back Only the letter? It would should be under your supervision. I, obviously. I don't have a problem with the planning board's authority to ask for sidewalks, mm -hmm. as long as they're done in a 
accordance with, let's say, a right. sidewalk plan. Right. Because sidewalks, let's say, out on Toll Farm Road uh, that lead people out to Mary Batchelder, for, for instance, um, don't accomplish much because they lead people. In other words, there has to be a systematic plan, yes. one sidewalk connected to another. Yes. The other consequence that I would ask that as people do that, they consider. I think reasonable people expect that if the developers built the sidewalks, the town will clear them. Yeah. And this goes back to the two sidewalk tractors that we were discussing five minutes ago. Without the proper equipment and or the proper the manpower trained right. to use that equipment, that right. won't get done. So it's a. But, but if you're building these sidewalks, you're building them in the town right of way. Correct. So that automatically gives you. And I had a discussion about this. Several discussions with Jason. That means that you own it once the developer turns it over, and it would be subject to whatever you need to do. Correct. And, first, and, all, and all, the new, all the new projects have done that. For yeah. instance, like when the dentist yeah. went in on uh, Lafayette Road, so he put in the new sidewalks himself, and he put in the handicap ramp. So wouldn't you rather have a contractor put in the sidewalk to your specifications? The planning board should know what specifications there are. But it, it all depends on where the property is. Correct. Well, wait, well what? It, it, it all well, depends on where the property is. But if how does putting, that relate to the generic that Jim just discussed, that everybody's going to have sidewalks? It, no, no, he, I said didn't it, say he that. did not say that. He said that where you do have sidewalks, they have to be accessible. They have to be accessible. That's what he said. So mm -hmm. you cross now, the street and step <laughs> up on the sidewalk. So if you, <coughs> well, if you can't step up on a sidewalk and it's not accessible, <laughs> th that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. There lies the problem. But as as Chris was alluding to, we you know we have some places out on Mary Batchelder Road. You can't just blanketly say, you know, you have to put sidewalks in because if that's a sidewalk to nowhere, and it doesn't connect to another sidewalk, well, what's the sense in putting it in? But you have plenty of those. You have plenty of areas where where there are no sidewalks at all, so you that, don't have to worry about hooking them up. Well, that's what you were just saying. You want. That all planning things they have to include sidewalks. Well, if we have to have and, sidewalks and that's everywhere, not, and that's you don't have to have sidewalks everywhere. Well, I I don't get what you're trying to do. I have a piece of property in Florida where yeah. I bought it 18 years ago, and when I bought it, um, and it's in a community of 600 house houses, so it's mm -hmm. a big um, development. Um, when you bought the property, you had to put the sidewalks in. Yeah. Even though I, I'm just, you know, just now, 18 years later, I'm getting around to building the house. I had to buy the side. I had to put the sidewalks in 18 well, years that, ago. That was probably part of your, your community. It was part yes. of the community, but it's not. But and that works down in Florida. Yeah, because we don't get that. We don't get that size communities around here. Yeah. Right. We're we're we you know planning board. You're getting one, two, five, maybe ten house lots now. We're not getting mm -hmm. anything bigger than that. Yeah. And so you can't require somebody to put a sidewalk on a on a on a little three house or four house dead end street yeah. that doesn't have any sidewalks to go out to. Well, so I, I have no I, I still have no uh, uh, motivation to vote to vote for Article thirty. I think it's ridiculous. My only say is do your homework. Research. Virginia. I did my homework, and the Mace Road sidewalk that was suggested by last year, was okay, it? that's that's the kind of sidewalk, that's a town sidewalk. It's not 1A, it's not state property, Yeah. it's a town sidewalk. Yeah, private petition. The estimate for that was $500-something yes. thousand dollars. Baloney okay. On so yeah, I definitely think we should have a capital reserve fund, but start in, and I think we need to work on it, and I think we need to work toward having those types of roads that connect neighborhoods and neighborhoods of families and kids that walk to school every day want a connet road takes you to every possible school in this town takes you to the library you know takes you everywhere doesn't even have bailey has sidewalks it's been like that for as long as i can remember hmm. but yes capital reserve fund great idea be proactive about it but i mean it's just like this stuff gets thrown in at the last minute and we're asking the voters to approve something else like, let's explain this to them, and then let's maybe next year say, you know what, let's put a half a million mm. into the capital mm. reserve fund for sidewalks, because that's actually going to accomplish something. 
Like, how much do you think for the 1A project, just fixing that part of the sidewalks? Is there, like, an estimate on how much that would cost? 1A? I'm not 1A. I'm sorry. Left Where do you call it? Wait, the, you know, where we just replaced the soil line. That whole project's going to start up again in the spring, right? There's easily $100,000 worth of work there for right. both sides, the full length. Right. Easily. And the, the only other point to bring up is I also sit on the uh, TAC committee. And this year, because Hampton wasn't um, in the running for a uh, TAP grant or a transportation improvement grant, um, it was interesting to sit on that side and see how the projects got rated. Yeah. But communities that had uh, capital reserve funds and planned programs, mm -hmm. like Newcastle, like Portsmouth, like uh, Exeter did, um, they were received more favorably. They earned more points. They came higher up in the rating system. So um, a capital reserve fund is looked at as a commitment by the town that should the funds be granted, i.e., by the through mm -hmm. the state DOT and the regional planning commission, that the town has a mechanism for getting that work done. That's all. So would you say? I know there was some talk about someone coming in and help us redoing one of Road, but I haven't heard anything about that lately. One of the well, planning commissions. That's a safe economic road. Development. That is a safe road. So when when a Cunnett Road in its entirety has has been on the ten year plan for right. DOT for. 10 years. Safe roads to school. <clears throat> right, in safe roads, routes to school. That was the But I thought I remember heard something about 19 something happening, but obviously. There is a, the, the Regional Planning Commission, the RPC, is, is uh, sponsoring an article to redo Winnicott Road or a portion of it. Section mm -hmm. total. It's to, been going uh, on for. Yeah. Right. So would you argue as public works director for the town of Hampton that uh, having this capital reserve fund set up this year? would increase our I just don't want like if this is going to be set up I would like to see it grow I would agree. so that it gets to something that can no. actually use to accomplish a project like Mace I would Road. Agree. it wouldn't be spent willy-nilly on 50 feet here and 75 feet there and 30 feet mm. there we're talking a capital improvement project ie some significant sections of sidewalk done in coordination because that's the only way one that we're going to get them done at a reasonable cost and, and, and that it will be noticeable. But it will also be done in concert with road work and other things like that. And if you had money um, that was put aside, then you could ask for less money from the public when you put it on as a future warrant article. Like if, let's say you had right. $300,000 and you need 600000 you'd only have to ask for 300000 right. But I think one reason why there's such an aversion to the sidewalks is because look at the state has... Well, yeah. uh, you, you mentioned 1A, <laughs> and as long as they, they we will be dead before they right do now. anything. Yeah. I had to drive through a, a, a hole to get here tonight. Right. Uh, that <laughs> I know where, you did. Where does the people go on, in wheelchairs? <laughs> they go in the middle of the road. It's disgusting that the state doesn't step up. And they're supposed, you know, we're trying to, but I don't, you know, it just doesn't happen. And that's why it's hard to get the, the, people that live here in Hampton to want to do it My concern, when they see the state not even I just would it. like to see this grow to something that it can be used to accomplish a road like Mace Road or Wanaconnet or some major road that kids Absolutely. are traveling on especially. Yeah. So. Yeah, always. Um, this, this is all interesting, but Rick, if we have a capital reserve fund or you say we need to raise extra in another year, it's all public money whichever way you cut it. It's all coming out of the taxpayers' pockets, whether you take it out like this or you ask them for extra <coughs> funds in the future. And next, next concept that I that concerns me: try going into Mace Road or some of the old neighborhoods and cutting up the people's front lawns and taking out their walls. Well, I think walls. they should do it. Well, you're going to you have. You live right on a perfect street where people take advantage. You're going to have a revolution. Yeah, they've got. Uh, there's more. Uh, uh, stakes and stuff like that. I went to a party over there. I couldn't believe what the people are getting away with on your street. And it's a right across from your house. And it's partly because <laughs> of the right of way. And we we do have a right of way, and it is a town's right of way. Well, and, and it we looks beautiful to those, too. But they think it's their front yard. Right. 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 But I'd like I, to put a sidewalk I, right there that went to nowhere. No. I still think we. <laughs> I still think we need to ha have. We have to start someplace. And if it, as we heard from the public works yeah. director, if it's our ability to at least 
get better recognition for maybe possible grant money. Uh, I think, uh, again, maybe the Budget Committee doesn't like the word grants, but I think if we go after that, it certainly helps out our taxpayers and we, and we get done with the stuff that we need to do in this town. So. I would be willing to, I think I abstained from this earlier, I would be willing to uh, reconsider to a yes vote to agree with the Board of Selectmen, but like I said, very important that this grow to something that it can be used to fix a larger problem and not just a small section of town. Thank you. So we have somebody that's willing to? I'll make a motion that we reconsider. All right. I'll second that. So the, the vote would be to recommend this by the Board of Selectmen or to not recommend it. All those in favor? No. Oh, just to reconsider. No. Vote. To well, that's what I'm sorry. You got. This, you is a, this will okay, be a yet. reconsider. Yeah. This is a. All right. A motion to reconsider. All right. So yeah. you reconsider it. Yeah. All right. All right. And then so now the motion that we approve it. Approve it. There's a motion to approve it. I will second that. I'm there, opposed. Any, any discussion? All those in favor? Yeah, my discussion. Four. One opposed. Okay. So we can change that now it's from three one and one to four. Four one and zero.